Introducing you to Joshua Cantor, Director of Marketing and Product Management. Josh is going to take us through some of our different filters, how to identify your Confo system unit, how to find said unit in your house, how to know when to change your filters, and finally, where you can find some of our filters. Josh? I'm going to be talking about our various types of filters. For an energy efficient building, it's essential that you have a plan for your indoor air quality needs. Zenders HRV and ERV ensures that you have a continuous supply of fresh filtered air into the building year round. Clean filters ensure that your unit is operating at its maximum efficiency as well as reduction of allergens in the building. The first thing you want to do is locate your unit. Is it in your attic? Is it in the basement? Is it in a closet? Once you know where it is, you can now see which type of unit do you have. Do you have the CA200? Do you have the CA160? Do you have our CA350? Our CA550? Our Focus 200 or our Novus 300? Now that you've identified your unit, next you want to identify where your filters are located. It's important to know that every unit has two filters. One's for the incoming air and one's for the exhaust air. We recommend that they're both changed at the same time. So with our 2B100 unit, you have one filter here, and you just pull it out here. And we make it easy to remove so that you can change it. And then right here. With our 160, you just pull it out here and here. With our 350, you remove the cover and then pull it out right here. And then the other one here. And then with our 550, very similarly, you remove the cover and then you can pull it out here and here. And you might notice that the 350 and 550 filters look similar. Actually, they're identical, so the same filter type. And then with our focus here, what you're going to do is you're going to reach below. And then remove the cover. And then what you'll do is you'll pull on here, and then in back of that will be your filters to change. And then with our Novus 300, which is the most efficient HRV in the world, you remove the cover here, and then your filters are right there. So as you can see, the filters are easy to change. The next thing you want to know is what's the difference in the filter types? You might notice that I've had the black filter so far. We also have the red filter. The difference is the MERV rating. So our black filter is a MERV 7 rating, whereas the red filter is a MERV 13. Now the difference in the filters is the size of particles it blocks. So our MERV 13 red filter blocks 90% of the particles which is important particularly for allergy sufferers or people with different respiratory disorders. Now one thing to note before you're changing your filter is that you want to unplug the unit. The reason you want to unplug the unit is so if there's any bugs, lint, or dust in there that it doesn't get sucked into the unit. And then what you can do is you can check to see what the filters look like. So for example, if it looks like this, it's time to change your filter. And what you want to do is when you're putting the filter back, you want to make sure it fits in the grooves because there is a right and wrong way to put it in. Now, on average, you might need to change your filter. It could be six months to a year. But what we have here is a reminder if you have the CCE's control that you can set it for a different amount of months but its default is for 120 days you'll have a red light so that's a reminder that you should check your filters but again it's really going to depend on both your indoor and outdoor environment for example if you live near a farm or a construction site you're going to have to change your filters more often and if you have an indoor environment where you have a lot of pets, a lot of occupants, then you're also going to have to change them more regularly. So at the very least, we recommend checking them you know, every four to six months. And then between replacing them, you can vacuum them 
to, so you can get the bugs out or lint out and then replacing them often from six months to a year. So now that we've talked about replacing the filters, the next question is where do you go to purchase these filters? You can go to myzender.com. We make it easy for you to purchase our filters right on the website there. And if you ever have any questions about which filter you have, you can go to the tab on top that says choose your filter, and then it'll walk you through your unit type and then the different filters just as I have. And then if you're curious to learn more about the MERV ratings, you can also go to myzender.com and it'll tell you the difference of the MERV ratings as well. I hope all this information was helpful for you today. If you have any questions, please let me know. My name is Josh Cantor. Have a great day.